Hey, y'all. Welcome back to a special, special edition of Hopped Up Beer Review. Why the double special? Because it is Macro Monday and it's a happy new year, January 1st, 2024. Glad we all made it. Today, we are drinking Pilsner Urkel out of the Pilsner Urkel Brewery out of Pilsen, Czech Republic. Thanks for joining us. Hey everybody, happy new year and welcome to a new year of Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing, and we are kicking off the new year right by having a Macro Monday, first Monday of every month. I've got Jay, I've got Andy in the new year attic. What are we drinking today? Bill's near Raquel. Out of the Pilsner <laughs> Brewery. Let's do it. Yeah, yes, out of the Pilsner Kell Brewery, or in actual Czech language, Pilsensky Prozdroy. All right. Pilsner Czeske Republika. I do like the embossed yes. caps. Those are always I mean, nice. They go so the distance on their uh their their caps, their labels. So I'd like to tell a quick story here while we pour this out. Um, I've had this beer, as far as I know, once. <laughs> and it was at the end of a long night. Uh, it was at a, a, a bar with a few friends. And this was the, basically the last beer they had left. And I got it. And all I remember thinking it was is, is that it was the worst beer I'd ever had. Now, it could have been where I bought it. It Probably wasn't something that a lot of people purchased at the time. I mean, this is 20 plus years ago. So I don't think I've had one since then. And I'm very interested to see how this turns out. And 20 years ago, it's probably had more hop than you were used to. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it would have definitely been not something for my taste buds at the time. So in your glasses, wore, every right. glass is going to disappear. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I even wore my check shirt for y'all. <laughs> All right. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. <laughs> yeah, I can see 20 years ago you were drinking Bud Lights and you drink this. You'd be like, yeah. you're probably thinking, oh, so this is what skunky beer is like. <laughs> <laughs> Who's drinking this? So it's kind of like that first time you have Rolling Rock, right? Yeah. You're like, this is a fine craft beer. <laughs> so this is history. You're drinking history, essentially. Pilsner or Kel. Um, translated, Czech means the original source at Pilsen. This is the Czech or bohemian style pilsner the first pilsner in the world was made in pilsen by this brewery so specifically this one is 4.4 percent 40 ibus this is the pilsner kel was the first ever pale lager so we get a bit a little bit about this beer um it uses size hops it's just it's one of the four noble hops um and it uses also moravian barley moravia is the eastern half of the czech republic bohemia is the western half they're kind of split down the middle into almost like two provinces moravia is actually they grow a lot there and they're a lot known for their wines in that half but saz hops saz was named after a city in the czech republic so the Czech Pilsner, we've had American style Pilsners, we've had German Pilsners. Um, the Czech style is slightly sweeter, um, toasted, kind of bready malt character to it, and not so much of that 
caramel malt that a German Pilsner one had. What, um, yeah, I think was it Dad Jeans that we that we had long ago? That was I think that was our first one of our first German Pilsners to have. So uh, this has they typically have medium and medium to low hot bitterness. This one I would say it's got a little medium um, hot bitterness to it. So classic styles of the Czech Pilsner are conditioned in wooden casks or, ta or tanks uh, and barrels. And um, so sometimes that will take out some of the, the hot bitterness compared to some German um, Pilsners, but they have similar IBUs. So I want to get back to the history of this. Um 1839, the um in the town of Pilsen, a uh, brewery was founded called Burgers Brewery, which or Burgers Brewery, which means burger means like uh the the citizens brewery. Um so the citizens came together to um make quality beer that didn't vary because you had people over here making a certain beer and people over here at this establishment. So they almost like a co-op, but they, and they founded one, one brewery to make the same steady beer. So in 1842, they developed um, the Pilsner. So, um, and it was still named that brewery. It did not change to Pilsner Kell uh, until a later date, the name of the, the brewery. Um, brewery, we have to thank Josef Grohl, who in 1842 developed this style of beer. It soon became the most popular style of beer on the planet after that. I mean, people started drinking this and it started spreading around and people replicating it. So, like I said, this was the first pale lager, um, Pilsner Kells. And nine out of 10 beers produced and consumed in the world are pale lagers based on Pilsner Kells. Wow. That's insane. Mm -hmm. How old is that data? I don't know. I'm just reading <laughs> off of 1845. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, so, chat GBT. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't use chat. I don't even know how to. Um, in 1892, uh, they their 50th anniversary of producing the Pilsner they built this what they called the jubilee gateway at the brewery and that is what is on the label or the the top that that kind of gate right there and i was trying to see if there was anywhere else uh i think it's maybe on the it's hard to pick up but it's on this barrel um which is the same as what's on here it's just more detailed uh in etching on uh on there. So it's pretty neat. It's also on the label yeah. that Ben has in the Yeah, it's on yeah, the red yeah. here. Yeah, I can yeah. Out to the <laughs> and in, in the, the little isn't it in the red? Yes. Oh yeah, there it is in the red. So eighteen ninety eight, that's when they trademarked Pilsner or Kell, which meant, like I said, the, the original source at Pilsen. Now, this beer is only made at this city, at the site in Czech Republic. It's kind of, so Prague, which is Praha, this, the capital of the country, Pilsen, I think, is a bit, a little, little southwest of it, um, so it's not that far. Uh, if people are going to Prague, can do a day trip. To, to go visit the brewery and all. But it's only made there at the brewery in Pilsen. For a time in the 2000s, um, it was also brewed in Poland and Russia, but they stopped that practice. They still apprentice and use coopers to uh, care for the barrels and vats, and they produce a small amount uh, each year in these wooden barrels like they did in 1842 to compare the beer that they brew that they're currently brewing in their you know more modern style to how it used to be brewed back in the day to make sure there's like a quality control so that tastes the same so I thought that was pretty cool wow um so that's crazy yeah and in 2016 it became it uh it, it became they sold to asahi so now it's owned by 
So I said, therefore, our macro. Did you visit when you were over there? I didn't get a chance to go there. I uh, mainly stayed in Prague and then in Moravia and this other town over there. But I drank a lot. Uh, there's so many other Pilsner styles over there or Pilsner brands that you've never even seen because they don't export. Right. That are so good, too. And, you know, the bottle, I mean, it. who knows? I don't know if they put a bottled on date on these. Uh, who knows how old this is? February. It says February of, you know, goodbye until February of 24. So that doesn't tell me when it was actually made. Uh, there's a little, you know, fresher from it's sure. a higher quality straight from uh, a tap over there, but it's not far off drinking from this. I can remember. So I'm done. Done, huh? That's good info, though. Thank mm -hmm. you. I've been looking forward to do this one for so long. I just really check Pilsners from the actual Czech Republic to me are just so much higher quality than other ones that say they're brutal of bohemian style pilsner all right so uh i think since ben hasn't had it since like uh 2000 he, he should go first yeah it was 2000 wow uh <laughs> it, it was it was the year 2000 yep for sure uh, so was you're with him jay 2001 i was not with him Okay. Nah. Um, 2001, probably. Yeah, it was 2001. Um, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, I think um, I'm glad my taste buds have, have come around, right? Uh, this definitely is not the worst beer I've ever had, um, yeah. for sure. Uh, I've had Spicy Pickle Monster, let's say. It's just one to throw out there that is one of the, maybe not the worst beer I've ever had, but, you know, it gets close. Um, I think all in all, it's actually really good. Um, I've seen where some people say this is, you know, one of the best beers in the world, uh, you know, on some list, if you see the list out there. Um, I don't know that I would such go a list. that yeah. far. Um, <laughs> Uh, I've seen this one rated as high as number one on on list uh, before, uh, and because and the reason why I know that is because again I'm going to this anytime I see the have seen this beer of the last twenty plus years I thought man this is the worst beer I've ever had you know that's always been in the back of my head so when I see it show up on the list as number one I'm like there's no way you know it's like the beer's terrible so uh, <laughs> um, so you know I, I don't know how credible those lists uh, should should be or if it was a list of you know macro types or what but they, did, they anyway, didn't consult you they didn't uh and uh but anyway i i, I well i guess what i'm getting at is i don't know that i'm I'm gonna say it's it's you know even the best beer i've had in the last you know two weeks uh but i think it's really good uh and you know definitely like the you know like you said andy that that czech style pilsner you know when we get it from from the source as they say um it's it, it makes a difference and i think it's it's very tasty I, i'm gonna go an eight and a half i mean it's it's for pilsner it's really really good wow wow <laughs> i think yeah, it's, uh, that's completely 180. my yeah. how you've changed yeah yeah so. yeah your your taste buds have evolved massively man yeah i mean i'm, I'm <laughs> slowing down to keep from drinking it all here at this point yeah. i've done a little little bit of that i mean andy on the macros, Andy does give us a lot of history, which I enjoy. Uh, he does yeah. a great job of researching, and I appreciate all the effort, time he puts into it. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'd, I'd like to say thank you, Andy, in the new year. Uh, so cheers. cheers. Um, you know, I I agree with you, Ben. I mean, it's a good Pilsner, but you know me and Pilsner, so I mean, they're, they're not one of my favorite beers. Uh, but this one has a great flavor. I like the bitterness to it. It's it's uh, almost, I don't know if you could say a bitter smooth, but that's kind of what it is to me. Um, but I, I can't go as high as you. I mean, this is a seven for me. Uh, it, it's a good Pilsner, but it's it's still a macro in a lot of ways. Um, appreciate us all being able to finally share it because I know we, yeah. we had problems locating it yeah. uh, for a while yeah. there. So. Yep. This is crazy too because a local store used to have it regularly, and then 
when I say, okay, let's do this for Macro Monday. I mean, I've been sitting on this. I wrote this research out months ago, and I yeah. took us forever, or took me forever to to get my hands on one. I had to travel out of state. <laughs> yeah, this for me is you know like a nostalgic beer. I haven't had it in years, actually, and um, and I, I do like it. It's got that. It's got that um, kind of biscuit, toasted biscuit. Uh, feel to it but then it, it finishes off with uh that hot bitterness and it's got more um and i knew it had that hot bitterness to it more so than some of the other czech pilsners that i had but um i uh do appreciate it but there are others in the czech republic that i like more than this and i think it's what you see with your beers of the world your your exports or for us the imported foreign beers your coronas i get your fosters you know things like that the the more popular one that's shipped around the world are usually not the highest or the best tasting i won't say highest quality it is a quality beer but i've had better um from the czech republic um or just my personal preference, but there's still a good beer. And Jay, I'm, I'm with you. I believe this one to be a 7.0 um, for me. And I would definitely drink it again. I'm going to start lobbying. Uh, I'm going to start lobbying corporate to get us to the Czech Republic then, because if you know <laughs> this is one of the low end ones, then, you know, I, I would really, you know, from your taste and what you've had yeah. there, because obviously I've never been, um, man, it's it's they have a lot of really good beer um and it's per capita they drink the most beer in the world you know right. Czech Republic. when we were there i mean beer was cheaper than water um yeah. at restaurants you know and in, in the stores you know for like a bottle of water versus bottle of beer yeah beer's about yeah. more cheaper <laughs> All right, that is going to be a seven and a half here on Macro Monday for the Pilsner Urkel. Um, likely, if you are a craft beer drinker, you have probably had this. Um, and so let us know what you think about it. And also be sure to check us out on all the social media links down in the description. Be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers to that notification bell. And come say hey in our Hopped Up Beer Review Discord server. It's a new year. We'd love to see you there. Uh, come join us and chat about beer and 2024 because it's going to be another crazy year, I'm sure. So, hey, you know, come hang out with us, I guess, because uh, we're crazy guys. Um, <laughs> lastly, three wild and crazy guys. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any interest in any hopped up beer review merch like this glass or a shirt or anything else, we have a link no, for that. There, we as go. Well. there you go, Jay um definitely appreciate you checking out this video happy new year to everybody out there i hope you have a great 2024 thanks again i have to call my glass here <laughs> cheers mates <laughs> cheers mates <laughs>